close your eyes and notice your breath. Notice when it's coming in, when it's going out. Just stay with the sensation. Wherever you feel in the body the breath is coming in, stay with that sensation as it comes in, as it goes out. And try to breathe in a way that the sensation feels good, that it feels nourishing for the body. Relaxing if you're feeling tense, energizing if you're feeling tired. Try to find the right balance for your breath energy right now. Think of the whole body breathing in. As you breathe in, the energy flows all through the nerves, all through the blood vessels, waking up and cleaning out the body. Give you a good place to stay inside. Once you get staying inside with a body like this in the present moment, then it becomes a lot easier to watch your own mind. Because the mind is the source of everything. The fact that we have a body comes from events in the mind in the past, decisions that the mind made. And if we want our life to continue going well, the, the mind has to be good in shape. If the mind is in bad shape, we do all kinds of stupid things, unwise things, and then we regret the results afterwards. And so you want to be very alert to what the mind is planning to do, what its intentions are in the present moment. So you want to watch right here. Because the movements of the mind turn into movements in the world outside as well. And then they come back at you. If, some good, if you send good energy out into the world, then good energy comes back. You send bad energy out, bad energy comes back. This is one of those laws that doesn't change. There's so much in the world that does change. This last week we were in Utah and you saw these rock cliffs. They've, even rock can change over time. It sits there, but the action of water on it can dissolve it away. Sand becomes rock, and then rock turns back into sand again over time. You look around you, everything changes. You've got a body, and it just gets older and older. You have friends, and either they, they die first or you die first. In the meantime, everybody gets older. And you look around all the things that you have. As soon as you get them, they're new, bright, and nice and attractive when they're new, but then they get older as well. You wonder if there's anything in the world that stands still, anything in the world that's constant. Well, it's the, the the laws of the Dharma are constant, that if you put good energy in the world, good energy comes back. If you find peace of mind, that gives even better energy to the mind, and then better energy into the world that you're, you're creating for yourself. So try to look after your mind to make sure that it's sending good energy out, and it's also sending good energy into itself. It has to look after itself, because after all, the energy is going to come in, it's going to come out from the mind. You've got to keep replenishing it. If you don't replenish it, okay, then the bad energy starts going out. So try to keep replenishing the good energy in your mind by bring, bringing the mind to stillness, finding what inside the mind lies even deeper still that that does not change at all. Because that's the only place where you're going to find any solid, stable happiness is something in the mind. It's that dimension of the mind, but that's not dependent on conditions at all. That can be found by staying in the present as well. So there are lots of good reasons to try to keep your mind here in the present moment with the breath coming in and going out, because that's the interface between your body and your mind. And when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment, and then with your solidly with the breath, then you can turn around and look at the mind and see clearly what's going on. Because the reason we make unwise choices is because we're not looking carefully at our intentions. We just go on through the force of habit. So you want to look at your mind and see what good things are coming out of the mind, what bad things are coming out of the mind. Go with the good things, don't go with the bad ones. And try to find something really solid inside. And just keep digging deeper and deeper into so inside until you find something that really is solid, even more solid than rock. Something that rock can change over millions of years, but this solid dimension inside the mind, that doesn't change with the passage of time at all. That's where there's true happiness. So get used to being here in the present moment, settling with the breath as your default motion. And then everything good will start coming from that.